Hello everybody, Republic Cinema here, and we're back at it with another review. First of all, I just want to wish you guys an early Happy New Year, because why not? Alright, anyways, enough of all that. With that said and done, let's get on to the review. So, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Dark of the Moon Jetwing Optimus Prime. Man, this guy's big. Alright, so here's what he looks like. So, as you can tell, this, this truck is massive. It's because of this, I know, I understand. Let's just go ahead and take this big old jetpack off so we could look at the truck itself. Now, from what I heard, this is called the uh, Peterbilt Semi-Auto Truck, right? Auto Truck? I don't know, I don't think I got that right. Well, and I gotta say, the details are really good. I mean, the, the, the grill is really nice. They did a really good job with this thing. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless because this truck is really accurate. I guess that's all I can give you. Nah, I'm kidding. I could give you more. Oh, yeah. Before we get to robot mode, let's check out the lights and sounds. I'm pretty sure most people that have this figure hear this a lot. All right. Now that's over with, let's get down to transformation. Ah, don't be scared. It's easy. What you're going to do is open these side panels up. Try not be careful during the process because you don't want to break anything. There we go. There we go. Then what you're going to do is move this whole section back to there. And then you come to this side panel over here. You just want to untab it and then rotate it around like so. And then what you're going to do is push that in. Make sure that pushes in there. And then you want to open up this, this part of the smokestack and then tab it in with this smokestack. You'll find the part. Same goes for the other one. Same thing. And then next what you're going to do is unpeg the grills from the arms. And then like the bottom part over here too. But it's really hard. One second, let me... There we go. There we go. Alright, so you're gonna split the two legs over here. Then what you might want to do is untab this side section here. Fold it in like that. And then we can continue with the feet. What you're gonna do is unfold the, the toes. And then tab the grill right in the bottom of the foot. And then push this whole section in. And then you got one leg. Same goes for the other one. It's faster when I'm not saying it. Or, you know. Then what you're going to do is move the legs down. And then, uh... I'm going to have to move the camera up. One second. There we go. Alright, so we're going to work with these wheels. You're just going to push them like that. Alright, then next what you're going to do is move this whole assembly up. And then it's going to tab in like so. Then you get the transformation sound. Oh wait, I can't do it because of the arms. Okay, we'll continue with the arms. So what you're gonna do is split this whole section here, open up the canisters, move them up, and then you just make sure you uh, try to uh, pull these panels out and then fold them in. You do the same thing with the other one, like so. Fold them in. So you simply just move the head up Oh, huh, sounds like Peter Cullen. I mean, let me do it. That sounds like Peter Cullen! Alright, so before we peg his chest and with his body, uh, we're going to separate the arms. So you're gonna do it like this. You make sure, like, this part over here is pushed in like that, which allows you to safely move this whole section up. And then you'll hear a click, and then you just push that in. Then you're gonna move this panel over here, turn it around, put it down, then you just push this whole thing down, and then what you're gonna do is open this section up, well, the, the panel up is what I meant to say, and then you rotate the canister to that part of the, to, to the shoulder. And then you want, then what you wanna do with this whole section is just fold it into the side. There's nothing you can tab in. All right then, same goes for the other one. A bunch of stuff to be done. Let's 
it's much more faster if you're not speaking it out but whatever and then you can finally push his his chest with his waist and then you get the transformation sound now before you connect the chest with the the belly you might want to open up these panels or you can't tab them in or whatever there we go and you just push the whole thing down then what you're gonna do is you see this this uh the slot over here it's gonna peg in i mean this tab it's gonna peg into the slot over there and what you want to do is push it in so this thing goes down and as always same goes for the other one Ooh, I hope I didn't break anything there. All right, so what you're gonna do is uh, fold in this panel up, rotate it, and then there is gonna be this this uh, this tab over here, and there's a slot. Can you see it? It's gonna peg into that little tab over there, so that way you don't have to worry about the dangling uh, fenders. All right then, same goes for the other one. There we go. And then you could angle his uh, his angry eyebrows the way in the way, which whatever way you want to angle it. All right, there's one more thing you need to do. You go back down to the bottom, and you have you have these. Okay, so these parts actually move up. You just need a Move this whole assembly out and push that up. And then you just put the whole assembly back. Same for the other one. Oh, I didn't forget. You got to move the feet down, which I'm not really sure why you have to do that. Whatever. All right. So, yeah, here's the view of the robot mode. I really like this design. Like I said, really good remold of the original Revenge of the Fallen version. Here's the feet, too. They did a really good job with the feet as well. Now, I know this figure is Amazon exclusive. Before this Amazon exclusive figure, there was a Japanese exclusive figure. And there's another light and sound, but, um, you know. It's one you can never hide during transformation. Ooh, I didn't notice that before. He's got really good, uh, let's see, let's see that again. Wait, 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 wait. Huh, how come the original one didn't have really, uh, good light-up features in the eyes? Alright, so I turned off the light so we could see the light-up features more, more brightly. <laughs> that was bright. Now, as far as accessories go, that's the kicker. You turn around. What you might want to do is unslide the, the smokestack from the, his backpack. And then you do the same thing with the other one. And once you have that out, you can just move this figure out of the way. And then we can transform these two smokestacks into his gun. You might want to, like, get this part out so it gives you more space. Then what you're going to do with this, you're going to open it up like that. You come to this side and you just rotate it like that. And then what you're going to do with this whole panel is push just like that. And what you want to do is just push, push it down so you can rotate it like that. And then this, this whole rail, you just push it down and then push it in there. And you got this mess over here, but it's what the instructions tell you to do. All right, and then the other one's easy. All you gotta do is just push this thingy over here all the way up, and then, yeah. Then you come back to this exploded mess. Uh, there, there are two slots over there. And then you go back to the front part of the gun, and you'll notice these two tabs, and that's where you're going to peg the two tabs into the two slots together. And then you've got his cannon. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, it does look like a mess, but whatever. I think it's really nice. 
And then you're gonna come to Optimus's arm like that. You'll notice this tab, which is going to peg into his hand like that. You gotta push it in there. And then there you have his, uh, his gun. All right, now we can just put him on his jet mode. You just want to do the same thing you did with the guns or whatever. Well, not really the same thing. You just got to transform him back into the smokestacks. So annoying, but whatever. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. At least once you got it all in, you don't have to... You'll be able to put it in the jetpack. Speaking of which... Alright, so what you're gonna do before you put the jetpack behind Optimus' back is... You're gonna take his, uh... These back parts that, uh, tap into his feet. I'll show you that in a minute. But first, let's put the smokestacks in the jetpack. I'll show you where to put them. What you might want to do is open up that, which will allow you to uh, peg the smokestacks in. But make sure you have the right ones, or else it's not gonna it's not gonna work. And then you just you put you push this whole panel in. Same goes for the other one. What you're gonna do is rotate the figure. And then you're going to grab one of these pieces and then peg them into the back of Optimus's foot. Same goes for the other one. Come to these parts, you just push them down. Make sure they're like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get that open. Just make sure these, uh, these two panels over here are in between, um, are in between, uh, this part. See what I'm talking about? All right, so then what you wanna do is push that in like that. You will need to push these panels down, so that way it will allow you to push these bigger panels in. So you could, so that way uh, it holds Optimus Prime's chest. And for Optimus to uh, hold the guns, you're gonna open up this part, which gives him access to hold the gun, and then you just push it in like that. I guess you might want to peg it in there. Same thing with the other one. You turn to the back, and you're going to peg into these little tabs over here. Like so. This one's fighting me. Sometimes they'll fight you or whatever. Or it's just me probably trying to work hard using it on camera. Well, anyways, that's that's him in the jetwing mode. It's massive. Like I said for the truck mode. His these uh smoke parts could get in the way, but whatever. Now, time for size comparison. Transformers, The Last Night, Voyager Class Optimus Prime, Transformers Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Optimus Prime, Transformers Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime, Transformers AllSpark Power Leader Class Optimus Prime, and Transformers AllSpark Power Brawl. Why not? And here he is with like literally all of my Transformers Optimus Prime figures. Anyways, I'll just snap them all away from existence like Thanos snapping his fingers. Well, that's it for this review. Hope you found this video worth your time. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Bye.